today I wanted to talk a little bit about patience. What, why are we so impatient? It seems as if we are always in a hurry. We are tightly scheduled and we want things done immediately to the point that we may say or think, I want it and I want it now. We don't want to take time to figure things out or to better understand complex issues. If we can't understand it now, we may just choose to move on and not worry about it. We may use our credit cards in order to buy things for which we don't have enough money, but will eventually pay off. I personally have been notorious um, with this. However, I do always pay my credit cards and other debts. But if I want something, I will usually go ahead and get it, and I'll pay it off down the line. I am trying to be better with this and trying to save up before making big purchases, but I still have this tendency. Yet when growing up, my parents would use layaway plans in order to make a big purchase. Lay layaway plans were a way to completely pay for something before taking ownership. My parents would make a payment to the store every week or month until the item was paid off, at which point they could bring it home. I am horrible at losing weight because I just want it to happen. I don't have the patience for the long-term solution to being overweight. I am sure that most of us have examples of when we run out of patience, sometimes with ourselves, sometimes with other people, sometimes with technology and sometimes with God. Regarding losing patience with other people, it may be due to a myriad of reasons. They aren't fast enough with what they are doing. We don't like their actions. They aren't listening, etc. There are so many reasons one may lose patience with another. And yet, when we lose patience with other people, we may be denying them the opportunity to help us understand us or even learn something for themselves. When I was teaching, I tried to remember to allow my students the opportunity to figure out and learn for themselves. Too often, one may step in and provide the answer or complete the task for someone else because it seems easier. But it doesn't allow others to learn or grow. So I started the practice of allowing time for my students to respond. I would ask questions, and if the students responded that they didn't know, I told them it was okay to not know, but I just wanted them to think, and then I would wait. Sometimes I had to wait a little longer. And students would respond. And I would say about 95% of the time, they were able to develop an answer and an understanding that they may not have done had I just moved on or answered the question. At the end of the school year, I would always ask my students if they had trained their other teachers to move on from them when they would say they didn't know the answer. And they would laugh and they would respond that yes, other teachers would either answer the question themselves or move on to another student. But in my class, they knew they had to think and respond because I wouldn't move on. And believe it or not, most of the students appreciated that by the end of the year because they realized they could develop answers and understandings because they were allowed the time to do so. They were allowed the opportunity to learn. These young people were able to learn and grow because I purposefully practiced being patient and giving them time. I do want to also acknowledge there would be extenuating circumstances, things I knew were going on with students, and sometimes just by reading their physical response, I knew that something was going on and they'd have to move on um, in order to protect their feelings. But in general, students would respond and they would learn. Now, don't get me on, wrong at all. I am in no way a paradigm of patience. I can be so impatient, even with my sweet little beloved dog, Duke. But I have learned that when I practice patience, it allows for opportunities that may not otherwise be available. 
but I have also come to realize that being patient with others is also to be respectful and in many instances, kind to others. When one is impatient or short with others, it may provoke feelings of inadequacies or self-doubt in them. Being patient with others demonstrates that we value them and are willing to wait for them and their actions or words. A lack of patience towards others may also represent a view that they are not as capable or smart. In other words, it may devalue others and even place ourselves above them. And when I think about it, I do want others to be patient with me. Therefore, I need to be patient with them. Proverbs 19.11 states, A man's wisdom gives him patience. It is to his glory to overlook an offense. Throughout the New Testament, patience is consistently connected with love and kindness. But if we are, but what if we are growing impatient with God? Many people state that they have left their belief in God as they feel God has left them. When questioned, a common response I hear is that one asked or prayed for something and God did not answer. While this seems like a straightforward statement, it is actually quite complex. When one asks for something for, from God and expects to immediately receive it, it represents the Santa Claus view of God, that God merely exists to give us what we want and when we want it. This ties in very much with the prosperity view of God, that God wants us to be wealthy. A gift list checkoff is what many of us present to God when we pray. And if we don't get it, many will move on and declare that God does not love them, or they may even declare that God does not exist. God did not give them what they were asking for and when they asked for. But Jesus himself taught us how to pray. In Matthew 6, 9 through 13, Jesus taught us how we should pray by, by saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. No request for a new car, fabulous vacation, or winning the lottery is found in this prayer. And sometimes people become impatient and don't want to wait for an answered prayer. And sometimes people don't want to hear no to the prayer. And no is an answer, whether we like it or not. I continually have to remind myself to be patient with myself, with others, and with waiting for an answer to prayer. Practicing patience allows us to grow in kindness, love, and respect towards others, while at the same time, it allows others the opportunity to respond, learn, and grow. We can all benefit by trying to practice patience. And in practicing patience, we can slow down our lives in the midst of chaos and busyness. We can breathe and take a moment for ourselves to better understand ourselves, others, and God. I hope you're having a great day, and I wish many blessings for you.